All right, so today we got a call about a condenser motor that is not functional. We have a large five, mo five motor condenser unit and this motor is not functional. So I've already opened up the hatch and felt that if it was the bearings that were uh, seized up or it, if it was an electrical issue. So the first thing I did was check the supply voltage at the disconnect unit and the voltage was 480 across each phase. So the next step was I was gonna go ahead and check the ohms across the motor legs, which would be the output side of the contact. So on one of the other known good motors, we're reading 11 ohms. And on the motor that's not operational, we're reading 15 to 16 ohms. So that motor has built a lot of resistance in the coils, uh, maybe due to running hot for a long, a long period of time. Who knows? So there is a blown fuse and it was removed. I have tested the fuse for uh, continuity and it is blown. So there are, have four amp fuses installed in there. So that means that this motor cannot run within 80% of that four amps. So in operation, these motors should be running essentially at 3.2 or less. So now it's time to get this motor powered up and let's see um, what, it, what it's doing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a manual jog with the screwdriver, which is this guy right here. And then I will be taking a amp reading with the clamp meter on a known good motor and just kind of give me a ballpark um, where the motors are running at. So that was the first test on a good motor and is reading well within the margin. So that was a current check on the bad motor and it won't even operate. It's, it's already amping out at 10 amps. So that motor needs to be replaced. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and the contactor as well. So that was a real quick troubleshooting process on how to like diagnose a three phase motor. Another thing that I checked was my phases to ground um, using the multimeter and a continuity um, setting and uh, just checked all three phases to ground and made sure that I didn't get any beeping. 